Hello everyone, this is Ben Williams with Lake Life Real Estate at Cobo Bankers Bent Realtors in Traverse City, Michigan. This episode of Behind the Scenes with a Listing, we're going to discuss what a homeowner needs to do to get prepared for a home inspection that the buyer has paid for. Now the listing is currently under contract with a buyer willing to purchase the home as agreed upon in the purchase agreement. One of the contingencies in this purchase agreement was having a home inspection done. And then sometimes, not in this particular case, but sometimes a buyer may want to have other inspections done, such as a specialized roof inspection, HVAC inspection, plumbing inspection, or a structural inspection. But in this case, we only had a home inspection done. And a home inspection basically is a overview of the entire home starting from the roof all the way down to the basement, checking the appliances and also making sure that it meets all safety requirements for the home. With this transaction, um, the seller is going to need prepare to make sure that all attic accesses are available for view in the attic to make sure that there's no roof leaks and um, attic insulation is adequate. Also to make sure that the crawl spaces and basement doors are easily available and also do not block any electrical panels or any access panels. Whereas the home inspector is gonna to wanna to take a look at these panels and he can't do it if there's something in the way and he won't take any responsibility for moving a seller's property around just to get access to a panel. So make sure that these areas are free and clear of any obstacles. One common thing that's often overlooked is household pets. If you have a cat or a dog, make sure that they're crated. The home inspector does not want to be held responsible if the dog or a cat gets out by accident while he's walking through and making sure that the home is being adequately inspected. Lastly, if you have any areas that are open or have locks on them, such as a storage shed or a storage closet or something like that, let's make sure that those areas are open for the home inspector to take a look in there. Um, the seller should make sure that either leaving a key behind with a note or unlocking the doors or access panels so that way the home inspector can get in there. A buyer is going to want to make sure that this home is properly inspected and if there isn't access to these it could be subject for a return chip charge so save yourself some money and save yourself some time. Thank you for listening to this episode of Behind the Scenes with a Listing. And next week, we're going to talk about what a seller can do to get prepared for an appraisal. Please feel free to take um, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Lake Life Real Estate. And then also check out my many social media platforms, whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. I'm available on all. And please take a moment also to check out my webpage at www.lakeliferealestate.com or contact me directly at 231 632-7888. Thank you so much for listening to this episode and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.